So here it is. My Z Packs R Call finally arrived. I ordered it a few weeks ago. Came to me custom ordered, and today is the unboxing of my Z Packs R Call. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it. So here it is, Z-Pax Bar Call. I chose to get this particular pack over the Z-Pax Bar Blast because it has a nylon and grid stop fabric, which is a little bit more durable than I thought than the Dynamic um, Composite, which is on the Bar Blast. When you order it, it looks like they give you a nice little sticker here to put on this, that, and the other. And as you can see, it has a roll top here. And on the inside, you'll see it's got a nice coating here. They don't say it's waterproof, they're highly water resistant. It has a Velcro. For the top, very similar to the food bag. Pull this up. Put it. So as you flip the pack over, this is where we're gonna see a little bit more about how the pack is built for you. Now this particular pack comes in three different sizes. They have the short, the medium, and the tall. The short is for those with torsos of 19 inches or lower. And then the medium is 21.5 or lower. And then the tall is 24 inches or lower. Now, again, this is a, a test that you're gonna have to have someone help you with by measuring the distance between uh, the bin area on your neck and your lower back area, uh, that they call it the celiac crest. And uh, mine is just happened to be 19 inches on the dot. So instead of going up, I went ahead and got this short because this piece here, if it's higher, it could be hitting you in the back of the head. I went with the standard stuff. I didn't get any add-ons. There is no water bottle holders or any type of pockets for up here. You can get those accessories. And I did not get the pockets down here. I probably will. I just was just trying to get a general idea if I liked the pack first before I went and bought a bunch of accessories and things of that nature. But right now I'm really excited about seeing the transition and getting my stuff in this pack and putting it on. So to give the pack a little bit more dimension, I went ahead and put some items in it and obviously adjust some of the straps for my specifications. And so far I like it. The top uh, mesh area is where I keep most of the stuff I keep for the day. Easy to access, obviously if it gets wet, it's gonna be able to dry out. Seat seat, water, attach the trekking poles on the inside. And obviously I've got the two and a half inch gap in between so the air can flow. And then I might be getting the pockets for the top here and down the bottom, but I kind of think it's overkill. So I don't need it. So that's that. And this is my CPAX Bar Call.